as you can see, she is slammed. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, or as always, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Today, we're working on the Jeep. Now, by the time I'm filming this, I don't think I've showed you guys the Jeep yet. This is my wife's 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And I'm gonna show you what the problem is today. So we bought this thing, I feel like for a pretty good deal, but it's got a couple little issues, very little small issues. So I'm gonna start tackling those and show you guys what I'm doing to fix them. So this one is a very, very common problem. This is the Overland Edition, so it's got the air suspension. It's a very, very common problem with these ones. And I'll show you right now. As you can see, she is slammed and the back is fine. So that tells me that it's most likely the little air valves on top. And I checked, I would show you guys how to do it now, but there's no air in the front shock. So it'd kind of be pointless for me to show you, but let's pop the hood, get up under there. And this is probably gonna take about five or 10 minutes to do on both sides, so. This thing's a hammy. So the problem is these guys right here. If you see the lines that go in there, when there's air in the lines, you can move this up and down and you can just hear all the air escaping from here. So I think the O-ring in this guy is bad. And then I went and checked this side and then same thing over here was just, you know, every time I moved it up and down, you're just hearing all that air escaping. So this is, they are both on the same circuit. So if you are having this problem and only one is leaking, it'll still leak down the whole both sides. So keep that in mind when you go to check for them. But in my case, both of them are bad. So I'm gonna replace both of them. And now I have heard that they're nitrogen filled systems, but you don't have to get them refilled with nit nitrogen. I've heard that it's, um, they'll use air backup. So they'll start taking air in from outside to compensate for all the nitrogen that's been lost because we've had this thing for, as of right now, I think almost a week. And we've been driving the heck out of it. And every time we drive it, it sets up it does fine while it's driving, but then once it settles, it just leaks right back down. And I almost feel like if it needed all that nitrogen, we'd kind of be screwed. But every time we start it up, it goes straight back up where it needs to and then does fine. Hopefully, that's not going to be an issue. But I'm going to get to you taking these off and showing you guys. Super simple, but let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start first by cracking this loose. So I'm just going to get some vice grips kind of get this keep this from spinning that's always fun all right so now that that's cracked free i'm just gonna get a screwdriver put it up under here try that back that's out. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this the rest of the way out. And here is the brand new one. I'll leave a link to the description to these. These were off Amazon. I think they're like 42 or $43 a piece. So I'll go ahead and screw that on. And then you'll just slip this back in. You'll notice it goes in a lot tighter because that's the O-ring is actually sealing like it's supposed to now. So that's in there. Good to go, so. And then same time too, you want to kind of just inspect the lines a little bit. I don't think mine really have any 
problems. I didn't, I didn't hear or see any more leaks other than just this guy right here. So. All right guys, so both those are put on, new ones. Got your old ones right here, which I'm almost positive these were factory, so. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll fix our issue. So, let's hop in, start the Jeep. All right, so you see it lifted itself back up, meaning there's plenty of air in there to do what it needs to do. So I'll just inspect here real quick. You probably won't be able to hear much with the engine running, but you can hear for any big leaks. I'm not hearing anything, so I think it's up at the right height it needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down and then come back over here, check, see if I hear anything coming out. All right, so here I am at the passenger. And nothing okay so that one's good driver's side and nothing so if you really want to check this and you can't hear anything but you are having this problem get some soapy water and uh, spray it down on there and you can see if you have like the super super minute leaks but I'm sure that would probably take a little longer to drip down. But you can always do that route. I'm not really gonna do that. I'm gonna wait. Cause I mean, it's just gonna sit here tonight. And then when I get home from work in the morning, that'll be the teller if we fix our problem or not. So the next time you see me will probably be tomorrow morning or my tomorrow morning. And I'll show you guys if the Jeep's still still standing tall or if she's slammed again. So, let's see. Alright guys, so, as you can see, it's the next morning. I just got home from work. It's about 7.33 in the morning. And, I mean, look at her. She's still sitting up the exact same height as it was when I left. So... I mean, really, time will tell, a few days maybe. I don't really think it'll ever sit that long, but I think that fixed our problem. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you found it helpful, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more and wanna see more of that because I've got some plans for it. It's not gonna be anything crazy, but I've got a couple plans for it. So stay tuned for that. Go follow me on all my socials. Instagram. I've got a Facebook page. Uh, I have a Twitter now. My channel email is all going to be linked in the description below. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything regarding this. And like always, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Like I said, that's going to wrap this up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. <music>